In March, a day after the 49ers officially made defensive back Jimmy Ward their highest paid defensive player in 2018, general manager John Lynch was asked about his rationale. Why was the team comfortable giving $8.5 million guaranteed to a productive but oft injured player who has missed 14 of the past 29 games? We think Jimmy Ward is a really good football player, Lynch said. We think his versatility is what allows us to be comfortable with that. Jimmy's a guy who can play safety, we saw that. He can play outside corner. He can also play the nickel. I think because of that he becomes very valuable. Ward's salary after the fifth year of his rookie contract being exercised should have made it clear how the 49ers value versatility in their defensive backs. They then hammered home the point in the draft. In the third round, they drafted a safety, Tarverius Moore of Southern Miss, whom they will move to cornerback. Then, in the fifth round, they selected a slot cornerback, Kansas State's DJ Reed, whom they plan to play at free safety, and Lynch HASNT ruled out a third position. We also think he can hold up at outside corner HES done that at K-State, he said. After drafting more, Lynch noted players who can fill multiple positions give the 49ers flexibility to shape a roster. Now the presence of Ward, the longest tenured member of their secondary, along with the newest additions, inspires the question, where will everyone be playing when the 53-man roster is established in four months? The question of where Ward will line up is the most vexing. Last year, defensive coordinator Robert Sala moved Ward from cornerback because he viewed him as the ideal free safety for his 4-3 scheme. However, Ward missed the final nine games with a broken forearm, and rookie seventh-round pick Adrian Colbert played surprisingly well late in the the 49ers have moved Ward back to cornerback in the off-season program, and the switch makes sense, at least for now. The 49ers don't have much cornerback depth and Richard Sherman, 30, is recovering from a torn Achilles and is sidelined until at least training camp. Sherman and Arkello Witherspoon are the presumptive starting cornerbacks, but it appears Ward won't be simply keeping Sherman's spot warm until HES healthy. During the draft, head coach Kyle Shanahan said Ward would remain at cornerback this if he plays well at the position in the spring. If so, that implies the 49ers could be paying Ward more than $8 million to serve as a number three cornerback in 2018. Of course, they reserve the right to reverse course. And they certainly could if, for example, Moore develops quickly and could serve as the number three corner behind Witherspoon and Sherman. That would allow the 49ers to move Ward back to free safety, where Colbert is largely unproven. Or, if Moore doesn't transition well to cornerback, he could be a candidate at free safety, his natural position. And they also will be trying Reed at free safety, although he figures to also compete with Quan Williams for the first string slot corner job. Confused, perhaps it's best to put it like this, at this point, given Sherman's health, it appears the only slam-dunk starters in the secondary are Witherspoon and strong safety Jack Whiskey Tart, who recently signed a two-year contract extension. After that, the 49ers have plenty of question marks, and plenty of options. Lineman signed, the 49ers signed Mike Person, a versatile offensive lineman who has ties to the organization and Shanahan. Person, 29. A 2011 seventh-round pick of the 49ers, made 14 of his 18 career starts in 2015 as the Falcons' center when Shanahan was Atlanta's offensive coordinator. Person, who entered the NFL after playing tackle at Montana State, has also played guard in a seven-year, 43-game career that has included stops with six teams. Person is a candidate to provide interior line depth and serve as the primary backup to center Western Richburg. Eric Branch is a San Francisco Chronicle staff writer. Email at branch at sfchronicle.com Twitter at Eric Branch.